Italian players in Prague, as far as I'm aware. Welcome back to YCS Prague, where we are live with round four, in fact, because the last match has been a little bit longer than expected. Yeah. In an exciting match between Pironaski on the one hand side and uh, Luca Maroni on the other side. With Necros versus Necros. Necros versus Necros, yes. Yeah. And thanks to those plenty of copies from Valkyros, a few things have happened in that game. It went on for very, very long. A lot of it was recycling that Valkyros yep. to be able to but stop attacks. That is why for this round we have tried hard to find a different match. Uh, different deck. Which is doing well as well. It's doing well as well. Yeah. Um, sitting on a 2-1 record, six points, is Yuri Lansman from the Netherlands. And he is playing a Volcanic deck. Yes. Volcanics uh, kind of existed a long, long time ago as a major burn deck and then kind of just faded away. Yeah. But a new card came out recently called it is Blaze, Blaze Accelerator Reloaded. Yeah. And that re rekindled the yes, archetype. Yes, re rekindled the... the, the Pyro archetype. Yes. Now, it uh, essentially let you discard a card from your hand to draw another a volcanic card. card. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, with those shells that you really don't mind having in the graveyard, that can uh, you can pay 500 life points to search your deck for another shell. You can just go and go and go, search your deck, thin out your deck, and eventually uh, actually shuffle them back into the deck. Yep. And also, what you're really looking at is scatter shot. Scattershot, when you drop it in the graveyard with a Blaze Accelerator, you send all of them from your deck to your graveyard, mm. dealing 500 damage and also destroying all cards on your opponent's right. side of the field. So you can deal a little bit of extra damage. And um, I remember, I've seen this deck in action that they recycle their graveyard. What do they do? Uh, what do they use to do Royal that? Royal Firestorm Guards. Ah, yes, yes. exactly. It's, a, it's essentially a pot of, pot of avarice, avarice yeah. for the archetype. Yes. So very good support for that archetype, in my personal opinion. It is something different. It, it has the element of surprise, I would say. And um, it is going up against the elephant in the room, Necros, Necros. Uh, from Changyu Liu from Germany. So let's take you to the table where these guys are already sitting down, being ready to duel. And um, you will see that Yuri is on the left-hand side and Changyu on the right-hand side. Shaking hands, and with that, we're good to go. And Things hit. start. Start quickly. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there's a fiery opening with a volcanic rocket searching that blaze accelerator. It's a scary opening. It's almost rocketing. <laughs> I went there. And that is set four and your move. That yeah. is a scary opening for any deck. Yeah, that is true. Although he now has no cards in his hand, so the uh, reload. Yeah. According is to our. Oh, does he still have. A sc he has a scatter shot. He's got a scatter shot because he, he got six cards in total thanks to that useful volcanic rocket. But he can discard that scatter shot for the Blaze Accelerator reload. He draws a card and then he destroys all cards on his opponent's side of the field. Yep. So, a good setup for Yuri Lansman from the Netherlands. And uh, let's take a look at Chang Yu Liu's hand. He's got Necros of Decisive Armor, a Brynek, okay. which is, as is often the case, the first play for the Necros player because it allows him to search his deck for another Necros card. Now, this one in particular is actually running a little bit differently. Oh. Yeah, in that he is main decking, as you can see in his hand, Mathematician. Oh, yes, we don't see that all too often. So he is running something a little bit... I, I don't know. Uh, I'm very, very concerned about a Mathematician. <laughs> concerned? Yeah, I'm concerned about a Mathematician deck. Why is that? A mathematician in a Necros deck. Because, yes, it puts a card in the graveyard, and if it's destroyed by battle, you're drawing an extra card, but there are surely quicker ways. Even quicker than that. Well, and yeah. you, you give up your normal summon, which you normally want to have for Senju and Manju. Yep, and also this one is running Glow-Up Bulb as well. Mm. Mm. Well, it's serving him mostly well. I mean, he's sitting on the, that 2-1 record. And uh, there we go with a Necros of Decisive Armor. And he's got nothing to back that up in his hand, which means that we're going to see the Blaze Accelerator reload, I think. Okay, it's possible that... Um we might see a Raigeki, and he's just going to try and poke for damage. But the, but that's not really going to help, <laughs> because he has a Fiendish Chain and a Book of Moon. 
All right, so let's take it another look. Now, there is no was that release of rituals. Yeah, was that no response to the summon? or I believe it's no response to the summon. Because he didn't attack yet. I, I, yeah, I think so. All right. <coughs> so just quickly checking, Chang Yu, wh what is <laughs> happening here? I think this is sometimes we often have. Okay, he's targeting the back row, and he targeted the Fiendish Chain. Mm. It seems that happened last time as well, twice. Yeah. Those Fiendish Chains, they, they are really good bait, really. Making sure that they get targeted, so you can get a little bit of an extra advantage. Now, here comes the preparation of rights. Yes, that is a very important card for... Because Mirror's coming back to hand, and then any particular ritual that he feels like is going to his hand. Yeah, I think seven or lower, but that applies to... Almost all of them. All, yeah, the one exception is on the field, so... Yeah, I believe that Valkyrus is actually an eight cost as well. Oh, okay. It's that and Valkyrus, and Trishula is also eight. So it gets you anything gunnier and lower. All right. Still a lot to choose from. Yeah, a lot. And that's a unicorn that he's getting there. Yeah, not that surprising, to be honest. We see that very, very often. Now, Unicor can either go back, get Bryonic back to hand, just in case, or he can just summon it. Yeah, and there is the Mathematician. Let's bring that up for you guys. Now, Ragaki's coming out. That's going to be a card in the graveyard, which is going to be fuel for Patricia. Yeah, oh, it's I've just realized that that is a Necros mirror as well, isn't it? So he is able to actually summon things from the graveyard. It's possible that he may put a... Is it, sorry, is it, it's a level 4 or lower monster, so it's probably going to be Clausulus Shurit. So what, what's the mathematician target here? Or the other... Is that one of the other djinns? Um, let's check his deck list. We see... Nope. He d he's not. According to his deck list, he's not running the djinns. So what has he just put in the graveyard? Uh, he's giving it to his opponent. His opponent's reading it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't quite see what it is. Yeah, I think it's uh, this uh, knight card. Ah, let's find that card. Uh, it's the see. Tackle Crusader, I think. Okay. And What's it says, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can activate one of these effects. Either target one face up monster your opponent controls, change the target to face down defense position. That's probably not going to happen. Or you target a face up spell or trap card your opponent controls, return it to the hand. And your opponent cannot activate cards with the same name that turn. Okay, well, that didn't. That popped the Phoenix Chain back into hand, but the Blaze the Accelerator <coughs> reload dropped a scatter shot into the graveyard. So he's taking 500 points of damage, three scatter shots in the graveyard, and yep. destroying his field. Yeah, so that's very good news for Yuri forcing his opponent to overcommit, I yep. think. And uh, then, well, payback, really. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I know uh, he does have the Necros Mirror there, so he can just bring out another monster. Yeah, so Chang Yu is not quite done yet, but still he has been put behind a little bit. Now left with three cards in his hand, and that's the Necros of Bryanek, the Necros Mirror, and the Necros of Unicor. He already searched for Bryanek this turn, so... If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I so believe he did. Yes. Right so no more surges for Brian Egg at least. Uh, so Mirror and Unicor are the active cards, so to speak. And, and that passed soon. That's why he passes, yes. So good start for Yuri Lansman, who's got a finish chain <laughs> in hand. <laughs> Pot of duality for two pots of duality. <laughs> 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 yeah, I take whatever the third card is. Yeah. All right, so that was a, a very quick pot of duality. He's also got a... Mystical Space Typhoon in his hand now. It's not the card he just added, there, right? Ah, yeah, it was the Volcanic Shell. So using the Blaze Accelerator Reload to, well, reload his hand a bit. Yep, he's dropping the shell into the graveyard with it. Uh huh. And then to draw a card and then just getting another shell to hand. Yes, with those 500 life points. 
And that's a Royal Firestorm Guard, which means that he's going to put all of the scout shots back into his deck. There is that recycling. And then draw two cards. Wow. That is... I really like this deck. Uh, I mean, the engine is, is definitely something different. It is definitely ridiculous. And that Scattershot, when did it come out? I believe it's an older card, but it didn't really have the the same kind of... The, the, it's the Blaze Accelerator Reload that's a new card. Yeah, I know. But the Scattershot is really... Um, it wasn't really useful before that because you didn't have any discard from your hand effects, did you? Uh, well, it, you did for Blaze Accelerator, except it wasn't a trap card and didn't give you a draw power. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that, that was the biggest issue. Yeah. And that's a magical planter, I think, to uh, get rid of that Blaze Accelerator reload and draw cards. Now, he also already has another one set, so it's not really a big disadvantage to him. Yeah, there's so many different engines in this deck all working together like one big machine and a well-oiled machine, i got to say. Uh, this was Yuri's hand, but half Void of these cards... as well, wow. Yeah, half of these cards have now been uh, set, so one after another they're going to be loaded in, in here. And uh, let's take a look at uh, Chang Yu's hand. We already saw the Bryonic, the Mirror and the Unicor. Yeah, he's dropped the Bryonic. He found another Necros Mirror. And so there goes the Clausalus. So what will you be going for here? Any particular ritual card at the moment. <laughs> Although, uh, of course, if that's a kaleidoscope, yep, I don't really control anything, so I should be able to go for my extra deck. And he already knows what it's going to be. It's already there. Yeah, Herald of the Arc Light. Now, Unicor does fall under Void Trap Hole. So he really needs to think about what he wants to do now, because he can basically negate the effect and banish it. Yeah, no, I, I think that that's a fair choice here. But there isn't really any point negating his effect. Uh, I don't really think that he's looking mm. at his extra deck right now. He just still has a Fiendish Chain as well. Although he, you know, at the moment, Cheng is going to be getting something big out. And that's what he's searching for. Or mm, Gunnir. Gunnir? Gunnir. For <laughs> it being destroyed. I personally would go for a Trishula. Yeah, that's a very surprising choice. Uh, the reason I want Trishula is because I don't want any effects to be targeting. But and uh, I know that I've got a f my opponent has a Fiendish Chain. Yeah, I was about to say that. You know that your opponent has a Fiendish Chain. How can he work around that Fiendish Chain? Trishula. Trishula stops things being targeted. Yeah, when ah, uh, yeah, that's what you mean when you yeah. when you discard it. Yes. Tr Trishula's first effect is that if it's something uh, which I believe is actually what he may have gone for. No, he went for a Valkyrie. I believe he's just going for a big attack. Yeah, the app is just a little bit behind here. And Book of Moon, flipping a face down. And with those 1,000 death, it's not going it to yeah, stand for long in long. Yuri's way. And it's the second time today that we see one of the other decks, well, not exactly, well, wiping the floor, really, with the Necros deck. Yeah, it is a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. But it has so many responses. And what's he dropping? He's dropping a shell. Yeah, it's hard. just amazing engine, these volcanic cards. Shell's effect, pay 500. I believe he ended his turn there. Yeah, as well. because uh, the shell you can only use in your own turn, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's why, why I've yeah. so just that he ended his <laughs> turn. Concluded, yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, this is uh, Yuri's hand prior to oh, those activations. And there's a scatter shot going straight to hand as well. I believe it's a... Uh, Oh no, it's a Blaze Accelerator card that's... Yeah, another Blaze game. Accelerator reload. Is he even playing the traditional Blaze Accelerator? I don't believe he is. No. It's nope. very interesting. So it completely replaced the old Blaze Accelerator. Yeah. It's just so much better, it seems. And attacking directly for 1900. Yeah, Ooh, so... But does he get rid of the Valkyrie? No, nah, he's, he's going to take the 1900. Yeah, so it's 2900 uh, remaining for Chang Yu Liu. And possibly a big mistake not to s not to summon his card. The, the thing is, he doesn't know what's set there, but what we know is that he's got a Void Trap Hole and a Fiendish Chain to stop anything that's going to be coming out next. Yeah. And also, he, he takes a bit of a di direct damage thanks to those uh, Volcanic Scatter Shots. The Firestorm Guards, they only trigger when you summon them, right? 
I believe that's correct. Yeah, if it's normal summoned. If you need to have four volcanic cards in the graveyard, though. Uh, pyro. Yeah, pyro, pyro monsters. Yeah. But yeah. Pyro is not really an archetype that has seen a lot of support in the past, Ooh, I think. And there's an Abyss Dweller. To just make matters worse for, yeah. for Jung Yu. And in the draw phase, Abyss Dweller. Okay. He's just got a Unicorn to get it. Brian Egg back. Yeah. Yep. No surprise. And Brian Egg is probably going to be discarded next. Yes. Yeah, if you're fortune teller and you have a lot of clients that like to play in a cross, you can make quite some money with that. And Abyss Dweller is a fantastic card as well. Just bring that up there. Yeah. Used to be a card that you would only see against Mermail, but nowadays there are so many graveyard effects and Abyss Dweller is such a flexible card, so easy to summon for most decks with two level four monsters. As the uh, discard effects actually activate in the hand That's as well, I believe. And there goes the Void Trap Hole, uh, which means that it's going to be banished. Wasn't that 2,000 or less? Am I missing 2,000 or more. Uh, 2,000 or more. Yeah. Ah, okay. Extremely good in this format. Yeah, <laughs> extremely good against Trishula in particular. Uh, it's banished, isn't it? Oh, no, it's just destroyed. Negate the effects. I believe I'm thinking of Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare. Yeah. So the Void Trap Hole getting rid of Trish. And now Chang Yu is left with just the Necros Mirror and the Mystical Space Typhoon. And I think both of these cards... Don't really help. Don't really help. Yeah, he has to pass with only the Mystical Space Typhoon face down. And that is the opening that Drawing Yuri Lanzmann needs. He does activate an MST to get rid of the opponent's MST. And the only question is, can, I, can he do enough damage? He's got 1,700 on the field. Finds another monster with the Royal Firestorm Guards. That should already be enough. I'm not quite sure what the delay is uh, here. Um, maybe... No. There's no maybe here. No. He, he's... he's, he's yeah, it's he's not like he's not going to attack. So maybe Chang Yu tries to get some more information by watching his opponent play another card. As much as I usually understand that move, in that particular situation, I don't. Well, Volcanic, volcanic are, are pretty obvious in what they're about. Yeah. It's about even though the monsters aren't massive, it doesn't matter because you don't have any monsters anymore. Yeah. Or a field. Now, in terms of, because it's time to side deck, uh, looking at it, there's yeah. a Kaiku the, the Ghost Destroyer. And then Denko Seca. Denko Seca is, seems really good against, I mean, if you bring that out first uh, against the Volcanic deck, that's, that's really strong. Uh, uh, shared right doesn't really do anything. Well, no, actually, it does, it does yeah. yes. There, there is a lot of searching. Yeah. Putting his hand. Uh, Twister, also quite good against all of those back row cards. Fairy Wind, Mind Crush, and Swift Scarecrow. Mind Crush <coughs> would help because you could get rid of the... Um, the Volcanic Shell yeah. that gets added to the hand? No, you <laughs> could. No, you can actually get rid of the Scatter Shot and then the Scatter Shot's effect won't activate because it wasn't discarded by the effect of a mm, Blaze Accelerator, of a card. accelerator card, yeah. Okay, so there is some... But it is a cost to activate the card, I, I, believe. I, I think the problem is it's that he can't yeah. introduce all of those cards because he's going to be running low on, on uh, cards to exchange with his main deck, really. Yeah, it looks so like he's uh, taking so the out the... I don't, see the, I don't think that the main cr Mind Crush is going to come in, but Denko Seca, I think, is a pretty fair assumption. Yep. So and far, he's taken three cards out of his deck. Four cards. Yeah, Maxi is also not exactly great against. Uh, uh, there's no real special summons. He's uh, in interestingly he's actually taking out. No, yeah. no. <laughs> but we're thinking we're better of it. Wait a second. Did he just have a million back row cards? I think MST could come in quite handy against yeah, that. He, he nearly took <coughs> out the MST and then decided against it. So let's see. Uh, is that a book of moon, a glow up bulb? It was a glow up bulb. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so just another card I didn't quite catch what it was. But it's taken out his mathematician. The mathematician. Also. So the the he engine. He's making a lot of changes. Yeah, I mean he he does have a number of uh, cards from the side deck that f would fit. Let's take a look at Yuri, who is definitely prepared for that particular matchup. He's got two copies of Flying Sea. When are they ever going to get introduced against Burning Abyss? I think. A flying a Flying Sea is when your opponent. Special summons. special summons. You can special them to their side of the field, and they yeah. can't special summon for the rest of the turn. Is so that I th yeah, yeah. 
I think yeah. it's really good against Burning Abyss because it destroys the Burning Abyss monster. Yeah, and it's also quite good against Necros as well. Because, yes. Yeah. So it's got Shadow Imprisoning and Light Imprisoning Mirror. None of these are going to do anything against Necros. He needs a Water Imprisoning Mirror. Um, he's got a Mind Drain and a Magic Cylinder. Yeah. Magic Cylinder? Yeah, Magic Cylinder. Well, I mean, if you, if you scattershot it's your opponent often enough and he's getting close to that point... The, the, yeah, the Magic Cylinder, completely and totally legitimate. It unfortunately has the text on it now that it says that you has to target your opponent's monster mm. to be able to use the effect, which uh, means that Trishler will come into effect yeah. right there. But, but all of the cards that activate when somebody is declaring an attack, and they always target the attacker, yeah. even if it, they don't... There was a time when they didn't spell that out on the card text, but it was just the way the card worked. All right, so what do we... Do we what do you expect coming in here? Um, in terms of, well... The the mirrors, not. The twister, not. Mind drain. Possibly. Mm, possibly. Magic cylinder, I'm really not sure. <laughs> well, it's, it's an interesting one. Because he, he's taking it back to what Volcanic Face clears. It's a burn deck. Mm. It's meant to burn your opponent's life points. It's just at the moment, but the way that it does it is it gets rid of all of your opponent's life points and then just attacks. Yeah, that's one way to burn your opponent. Very effective way, i got to say. I mean, Mind Drain actually works very well. Yeah, um, yeah Mind Drain's definitely coming in it because it's stopping... Sh shuts down all those uh, card effects that you need to discard from your hand to the graveyard. So, Klossos, Unicorn, Brionic, and Gunnir, and Trishula, and yeah. Valkyrus, and uh, the Decisive Armor. So, all of the Necros. Yeah, just yeah. just a few targets you got there. Yeah, just <laughs> just a couple. <laughs> okay, all so right, so Chang Yu is ready for the second game, and as you can see... Our volunteers are taking in the cards. There you go. It's the mystical space of Fun, Dark Hole. And uh, the rest is going to follow soon. Yuri was allowed to go first. He has a Blaze Accelerator reload and f three more back row cards. Yes. Okay, so there's a mystical space of Fun. And Volcanic Scattershot in hand. And on the field, he's got a Fiendish Chain, a Book of Moon, and, and a second Blaze Accelerator. The Fiendish Chain is going to stop the search. Yeah, it's very interesting that he activated the Blaze Accelerator immediately in the opponent's draw phase, so he can always get that discard for the scatter shot. Yeah, definitely. I, I definitely agree with that play, but you can still chain the MST from your hand, don't you? Yeah. So, what exactly was preventing Chang Yu from doing that? Nothing. He just didn't do it. Okay. Well, I'll be honest with you. If when the Fiendish Chain was activated, he could have chained the Fiendish Chain to make sure that he was getting his effect through as yes. well. Yes. I think that. I do believe, I think they're just having a check now to see if he still actually gets to draw oh, a card. Yeah. Because he's, paying, he's technically paying the cost and it's weird. No, we don't have the card text for the Blaze Accelerator yeah, really Reload. That. However, I think all of the permanent trap cards, if they get destroyed in the chain, their effects are negated. Yeah. So, yeah, there, there really was no reason to activate the... And it just <laughs> activates the second one. <laughs> the MST in the draw phase, so that was correct. But um, the discard happens on resolution. I, I find that quite good. So it isn't actually a cost to discard. Right. So the censure did yeah, I'm, I'm still not sure about that play. Would you prefer to use the MST on the Phoenix Chain so you get the search? It, it really depends, because it, de it depends on what they think uh, he's going to use that Blaze Accelerator for. The, the problem is that he just had another one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he's shifted over to front turn. Looking in that hand, there's a dark hole, which doesn't really help. Um, it's just... There's Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer, which, again, isn't doing anything currently. Preparation of rights, just to... Kind of, I do believe, is well, there actually a uh, target in the graveyard there for preparation of rights? No. You can still use it. Uh, the interesting thing is Kaiku would actually do something if it connects and attacks. Can I it believe it's a... Does it... Is it that everything banished, or does it just banish what it attacks? It banish, no, no, it banishes two cards in the graveyard if it deals damage. Oh, yes, of course. So you can get rid of the shells, and I think that would be pretty big. Yeah. 
So the preparation gets him a Brynag, and the Brynag is being sent to the graveyard immediately. Which gets him a Clausulus. Which is also being sent to the graveyard immediately. Yeah, some shortcuts here. No shuffling in between, I, I, I approve of that. <laughs> you were telling me people were getting incredibly frustrated. And there we are with a Necros cycle. Uh, just correct me if I'm wrong, isn't Fairy Wind just face up spells? Fairy Wind? Yes. Um. <laughs> the old cards. Yeah. Destroy all the face up spell and trap cards on the field. Spell and trap cards, that's yeah. fine then. And then I take. was just checking because I, I noticed that it had been slided in. Right. Okay, Brionic has been summoned. Yeah, you don't see that too often. Although the card is also it packs quite the punch. You don't always need to discard it. It's got <laughs> it's got multiple appliances. And um, there's a search there. Um, for what is he searching at the moment? I mm, believe he had a shirt. Ah, okay. I don't. Yeah, he's just got a Brionic, but he did just use Brionic's effect this turn. Yeah, maybe he's setting up something for the next turn. There is the Kaiku. He's about to summon it, I think. Yeah, yeah there we go. There it is. Whew. And if that connects, that is going to be a very big deal. Fortunately, it's not going to connect because Mirror Force. <laughs> All three cards gone. Wow. Whoops. We haven't seen that in a while, um, especially with, with <laughs> Dolls and Burning Abyss, where nobody wants to play Mirror Force. And it's still a good card. Frantically checking his graveyard. Yeah. Oh, uh, I can bring this back. It's fine. And again, Zhang Yu falling behind that fast. He's only he's down to three cards in hand with uh, the Brynag that he can't activate. Decisive armor doesn't really do anything, does it? And well, it's big, but he can't attack the stuff. Yeah. And Dark Hole also not exactly the card you're looking for. But to be fair, what's going to happen to this particular monster is it's going to be bottomless trap hold. Yeah. Oh, no, so he's passing his turn. Yeah. I think <laughs> dropping, uh, he's dropping had enough. Draw. He's had quite enough for that turn. So uh, Yuri now has a volcanic shell and a mystical space typhoon in hand, and that's not. He also drew into uh, a third card, I think. Uh, he just dropped the volcanic shell to draw for reload. Ah, yeah. There we go. So he's and there's the raw firestorm guard. There is the firestorm guard. It's such an important fact that Kaiko didn't connect. That would have interfered with uh, Yuri's game plan completely. Uh, well, actually, he's not got four in there. I think he's just actually something yeah. just to get some sort just of Just to attack, yeah. There is also, ooh, and there is the Mind Drain stopping any of those cards activating from hand. So he's shut down all of the searches. Can you not chain Mind Drain? Oh, no, you can't because it's already discarded. Yeah, it's already discarded at that point. Okay. There's a and Twister. There's a twister to stop it. <coughs> and that's not a problem because he definitely knows that and He's interestingly enough, uh, Chang Yu did draw into that twister, so just a turn earlier, the mind drain could have been crucial. Now it was only an easy twister target. So Brynag going on a hunt and finding his good friend Unicor. Yep, yeah, that's Unicor. And there's the kaleidoscope with Unicor. We've seen that before. Ooh. Herald of the Arc Light. So yeah. he's going to get some extra value out of that ritual summon. He's going to search his deck for a ritual spell card and add it to his hand. Uh, he really has to think here do I want to activate that bombless trap hole or is he going to get something? Okay, he's letting it happen. Yeah, the inter interesting thing is just with three cards in hand, or I think it was four at the start of the turn, uh, the Necros deck can apply a lot of pressure and get something big out, continue to search. Now he's got a Gunyir. So there. many options, really. Now, a lot of people confuse Gunyir's effect with Trishula's effect, which I think, I believe, is why the Book of Moon happened there. Mm. Yeah, so the Firestorm Guards can get rid. Oh, yeah, he actually just passed his turn. Yeah. That's fair enough. 
and then Yuri sets a, a oh. new mind drain. Oh, that's Blaze big. That's and a mystical space nasty. Tesla. So he, he does lose another 1,000 life points, but he really doesn't mind, I think. Well, basically what's going to happen now is he's got a Necro cycle there. Uh, he can play it, but whatever happens, uh, he's just going to banish one to go and get himself another one. Probably a Necro's Mirror. Yeah, there is the next search for the next ritual spell card. Yeah. Necro's Mirror, yeah. Okay, whatever's going to get summoned is going to be destroyed by Bottomless Trap Hole. <laughs> it can't be stopped now. It is going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> Whatever comes out, it's going to die. <laughs> All right, there is the Necro's Mirror. No, keep in mind, the Mind Drain is active now, so no more searching for the Necro's player. I'm quite surprised that this is the first time we see the Mind Drain. Yeah, that, that is surprising. Decisive armor. And yeah. Decisive armor. It's going to go by. Oh, him. there it is. Man, Rob, your career is a fortune teller. Oh, yes. All right. And this must be frustrating for Chang Yu. I mean, trying so hard and it's like, well, going again, going again and ending up on a wall is over and over again. Yeah. I don't understand. The pass? Mm, yes. Well when he has a dark hole to stop another 1700 points of damage but i guess he's trying to keep it under four pyro monsters in the graveyard just in case mm. yeah that's one possible option so yuri when searching for blaze accelerator reload thanks to the volcanic rocket now he goes for an exceed summon that goes to emerald and yeah he doesn't really need the firestorm guards he can also recycle his graveyard this way Shells go back in. He also gets to draw some cards. It's a little bit like a reverse gadget deck. Yeah. <laughs> you you want to have them in the graveyard to recycle them rather than playing them to recycle everything. And it, it's draw working two. extremely well so far. Okay. Oh, it's return, return three, draw one, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Okay. That it's would be ridiculous if it was return three, draw two. <laughs> yeah. But like graceful charity in reverse. All right, so there's the Necros Mirror um, getting and banished from the graveyard. So well, he we got set face down there. So Chang Yu can search. Um, uh, Vanity's Emptiness. Ooh, Vanity's Emptiness. Wow, Yuri's got so many answers. Yeah, he's... Ooh, actually, I don't believe that there's much else that can be done there because he can't activate any of his hand spells. I mean, he can play the Dark Hole. Dark Hole is about all he can do. Yeah. To, to buy himself some more time, but yeah. he is under a very strict lock, really, yeah, with, with both hand effects and special summons being negated. And he doesn't know that his special summons are going to get negated yet. Yeah. It, it feels a lot like playing against one of those old-school Bernard decks where, you, where they had like infinite options to negate your Now, he does cards. have Dark Hole. He dark Hole would get rid of the Vanity's Emptiness. It's whether he thinks to play it and then carry on. Because he does have another ritual spell card in his hand. Yeah, I mean, there it is. What I was about to say, what's the alternative, really? Okay, so there is the two for one with the dark hole, but the Vanity's Emptiness first negated the crucial ritual spell. And Chang Yu needs to find something now to get out of this situation. So much, well, restrictions that Yuri's back row is putting into place here in that game. Okay, he's banishing there to be able to go and fetch himself a ritual spell. Which he don't believe he has any targets. Oh, he's just There's a Necro's Mirror. Yeah. I think he's also playing 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Yes. Yeah, like most of the Necro's players. This seems to be an agreed upon rule to play two copies of each of these cards. Okay. He, he's, but he is running low on ritual spells, right? Yeah. I think that was the last ritual spell. In his deck. Yeah. So now he's got two in his hand and those are the last two after that. Oh, he passed his turn. Uh, Scatshot will... Oh. Hello. Um, 
thinking about why shot. why did he pass his turn? It's a good question. And one I don't have the answer to. Okay, there's the magic planter to send the magic uh, the blaze accelerator reload to the graveyard. Because Yuri already drew into a second copy. Yeah, you'd say he had an opportunity to be able to garab the uh, scat shot. And uh, didn't use it. Okay, he's passed his turn again. There's a Valkyrus in hand there. Oh, another pot of duality. And there's the Royal Five Storm Guards. I don't believe it actually has any targets. Yeah, I'm not sure about that either. Yeah, I believe he returned them with Digusto. But he, he really wants to have uh, a monster to apply some pressure here. No, he's looking through his graveyard. He might still have four cards. No, he doesn't. Look at that field there. Yeah, so there is the attack. Uh, Chang Yu's got nothing to stop it. Oh, well, he does have the Volcurus, but he saves the Volcurus for when ah, he sorry, would be dead. A, it's a unicorn by the look of it. Oh, yeah, he's just like, yeah, nah, I can't stop that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, he's just shaking his head. He's like, wow, I, I really didn't see that one coming. No. So, wow. excellent play from Yuri Lanzmann and, and mostly excellent deck building, if you ask me. Yeah, it's really, really good. I mean, it's, it's what the. It's a Blaze Accelerator deck, it's what it does. Volcanics is can be absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, and that's what we saw. And y you could tell he was coming prepared for that particular matchup. Yeah, one hundred percent. He he knew what to do, and. Um